I have no words of how amazing it is. It's, it's like something I've read in textbooks and something that I've studied all of a sudden just comes to life and it's amazing. Essentially, Operation Wallace Seer are a network of academics. So we have people from all over the world, different universities everywhere, coming out to work with us. We provide um, the logistics to make field work happen. Uh, and then the scientists come out and they use our sites around the world um, to collect data that is going to not only be for their own research purposes uh, and be published in the primary literature, but it also goes to inform the management strategies for conserving biodiversity on the ground and working with local and, and national governments to protect what's here. Students are a key part in the data collection that we do because a lot of the surveys are very manpower intensive. So by bringing in a large amount of people, a large amount of students, it lets us cover a huge amount of ground that lets us yield very valuable data sets. Not only do we have this huge biologically interesting environment, but we also have people having to utilise that. We're trying to find that balance between protection and obtaining enough resources for local communities. What was the most amazing thing out here was it's not just about conservation and ecology and working with the animals, you also get a huge um, knowledge of the culture and the people out here. I learned to dive and I've learned to love it. I absolutely love it. I feel like I've been born to dive and whenever I come out of the water, I just have a huge smile on my face. So it's a chance to see things and monitor things and, and complete surveys on things that virtually nobody else in the world has seen, let alone surveyed. We are in a race against time to protect this rare wildlife and in this effort Opwell has been an invaluable ally helping us bringing expertise, people, hands, ideas that can boost this effort further.